him on your television screen inside the WWE Thunderdome. But uh, I think Keith Lee, that's another guy who I remember when he was down here at Reality Wrestling. He went out there and he worked. I mean, he put his boots on and he worked. Him and he Gino, worked him and Gino, man, him and Gino, uh, one of my top students at Reality Wrestling, I tell you, they went out there and they had a, a, a spectacle of a performance at Reality Wrestling. And I knew Keith Lee was Definitely a guy that was going to make it to the next level if he just stayed um, hungry. Because that's the one thing that the business, you know, can can definitely um, run you to the point to where you just lose your drive and your hunger. Um, and then a lot of times it's like a, a, a basketball game. The clock just run out. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, as far as, you know, man, I just couldn't do it. I, I think about the uh, uh, Samoan Beast. Uh, yeah. yeah. Guy who came through reality wrestling. I came through reality of wrestling that was very, very talented. That I, but, the, but the clock, the clock ran out on him. You know, the old bones just couldn't last, you know, till the phone call came. You know, Keith Lee was a guy that was a storm, got in NXT, and, and there again built himself from that brand, that NXT brand, to let the world know, and more importantly, let the company know, hey, guys, y'all might want to put me on the main roster and let me – go out here and draw some money and and if you want if, if you if you're looking for somebody that you need to put the universal championship on i'm your guy i i, I appreciate um the hard work that keith lee put in to to make it to that next level yeah and, and he's been a guy who has constantly been working 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 in nxt he has shown up and showed out in all of his matches he feels like a big deal not only from his size just his prowess inside the ring. And here's the thing. He's deceptively fast and athletic. You might look at him and be like, oh, this is going to be a slow guy. He's going to work the old giant style. He doesn't. He brings it. And he can he can jump, flip, and fly with every one of them. I remember when he's down at Reality Wrestling, you're like, you even asked him, you're like, I heard you like to do some Lucha stuff. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I do. And you're like, all right, well, you know, if you, if you feel confident in it, go out there and do it. And he did. And he was great. Bro, I mean, he was back flipping and he did so many he did some crazy stuff that night that I was really, really scared. And I was like, man, I, I almost went and told him, look, bro, I don't want to see you do that ever again. But I didn't because there again, I saw something in Keith Lee from the beginning. I made a statement about Keith Lee. I said, a lot of people, you know, going to look at Keith Lee and say, man, he lo he moved like a cruiserweight. And I, and I go, now nah, Keith Lee is just a big guy that can move. Um, that's the difference between Keith Lee and, and being a guy that his that's his size and a lot of guys being that size and trying to act trying to really play like they could do those moves keith lee um is is light on his feet for a big guy someone like tuco scorpio back in the day tuco scorpio was 250 pounds but when he did a you know triple gainer and landed on you felt like a feather you go god man i love working with this guy you know what i mean <laughs> Uh, uh, but, 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 uh, Keith Lee, um, he, he falls under that same umbrella. He's a big guy that can go out and perform and, and work with anybody. And, and case in point, being able to be the size that he is and go out and work with this guy, the size of Adam Cole and really make it an interesting match. And you go, man, that was good. That was a really good match. Um, suspend the imagination, of course, to the point to where you, you got to really, you know, delve into it just because of the size difference. But, um, he went out there and he made it work. That's that. That's what tells me um, how good you know one's performance is. That's what tells me how good a guy is going to be, you know, at the end of the day, and if he's going to be able to help my brand. And Keith Lee, man, you know, I've been waiting on the air parent uh, to Booker T. You know, the guy that's going to you know pick up where I left off and um, start winning all the titles, all of them. You know, just like I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we, he might be uh, that man might be Keith Lee man seriously that man might be Keith Lee but we gotta take another break man we gotta take another break and then we'll uh, come back and talk about Thunderdome <laughs> back in a minute <laughs> 